if you are working with a uh, coconut wax let me know what you're using are you using I have done the full jar and half jars because I really want to know how the week. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Glad you're joining me. If you're new here, I hope you hit the subscription button. Today's video is just going to be very short and simple. Those of you who have been following me on Instagram, you know that I am actually doing a lot of candle testing because I changed my wax. I am using now a coconut wax. Testing coconut wax in comparison to soy is so different. Um, there is a lot to learn when you're actually transitioning and also I am playing with the different fragrance oil that I am using, different percentage fragrance load, different temperatures when it comes to heating my coconut wax to achieve the best cold and also hot throw. Now in this video I am just going to show you basically the weekend, like taking off the week and how I actually replace the week. I have a few candles that I've actually made. Most of the candles, what I like to do, I like to have one candle that is actually poured full and then the other one would be halfway. This is how I actually do my candle testing because one thing I like to know is that based on the different wicks that I am using, I want to know how it would perform when it is in a full jar, which is how my customers will be getting it. And also if the customers are going to burn this candle all the way to the bottom, how will like the wicks perform when it's midway? Because usually when you wick a candle, I have noticed, especially Especially a lot of candles could tell you that sometimes you have a really good week at the top it burns really nice when you're doing the testing you get you achieve a really good a uh, melt pool the temperature of the jar is really good however what we fail to realize when we have customers sometimes they don't really follow instructions with trimming the wick at a certain length and when it is in the center oftentimes the wick it is very different especially if you're working with like the cotton wick sometimes it looks straight like the top even though you use a wick placement sometimes in the center there is some sort of wavy little thing happening and you would have to keep your eyes on that to ensure that you cut that wick off however since we don't know every single candle we're making how they're actually going to perform it is wise to do both a full jar test and also a half jar test. I've seen a lot of people they're just doing just halfway because oh I am saving wax guys trust me it is better to do both a full and a half because you don't want a lawsuit right all my candles prior did a lot of peeler candles body candles they're of soy base but i wanted my candles to be more of like aromatherapy wellness and massage candles so i actually switched to the coconut wax and i am loving it so far i also use a coconut wax for my wax build it seems very nice they smell really good however Ever. the testing of the different vessel it is something that you have to keep on testing 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 until you find what really works for you now a lot of people out there do work with the coconut wax people use different wigs the question is what sort of wig are you looking to test in your candle I have tried the cotton wigs I have tried the CD is it CDN CD wigs I prefer the wooden wick because I'm looking for something more natural and again since I say that it's going to be sort of wellness and this aromatherapy sort of um, candle I wanted to derive more to the wooden wicks and I selected the booster crackling wick because of the sound it makes it is you know I could hear some cooking in the kitchen like this <laughs> you could actually hear this sort of 
crackling sound and if it is cold where I am it makes me feel so comfortable having a candle making that sound like you know your fireplace so if you want to see how I just switch off my wicks when I'm doing my candle testing just stick around for this full video again in the comments below if you are working with uh, coconut wax let me know what you're using are you using cocoa apricot are you using cocoa like 83 what exactly are you using and what do you think about about it how is the hot throw how is the cold throw I am going to give you the dimension of this vessel I am also using a jar from Uline and the teen jar from Uline I think the dimensions they're all they all range about the same three inches hope you do enjoy this video so in this video I am just going to show you how I prep my jars to um, test my hot throw and also my wicks so basically, um, I am actually using right now wooden wicks. I have tried a lot of the um, cotton wicks, uh, the CD wicks with this coconut apricot wax. So right now I am falling in love with the wooden wick and we're going to check this out. So this is the remainder of, you see one wooden wick gave me about three. So I'm just going to test the side and we're going to aim for the center. So this is the tin. I have different um, fragrance load. So I tested 7.5, 8, 8.59, 9.5, 10 um, to see which one is actually the best. So we're aiming for the center. Does this look center? And now I am actually going to push it in. Okay. Push it in a little lower. And that's basically it. And then I'm going to just take the heat gun and heat it up. And that's basically it. A beautiful smooth finish for the jar. And we'll set that on the side so we could test later on. Same thing with this one. Finish. So that is how I actually prep my jars. I'm actually testing this jar right now. This jar is about three and a half inches by three inches. Okay. So I had some, I had a label around it. So we're going to take the we just get a pliers like this and just pull it out okay so that's basically that you could always cut this and retest now we're going to use a smaller wick because the large one was too we're going to measure it and at the rim right here this is where we're going to do the cut it and then we are going to insert it there is a clip all right pull up a bit because we need and then I am going to take my heat gun make sure it is center so that it is center and then we're going to take the heat and I'm gonna is sort of melted so I have a very nice smooth finish and we'll let that set and then we will retest this jar so this is basically how I re-wick my jar for testing and usually it is first empty let me show you I have done the full jar and half jars because I really want to know how the wick um, performs when it is actually full and also halfway all the way sometimes I do a power burn where I would leave this out for about eight hours because I want to check the temperature of the jars because again when you're selling candles you never know what people could actually do right sometimes they have food on the fire forgot it and yeah so this jar basically right now I feel I am gravitating to this jar because it's so heavy duty from Uline uh, the teen jars as well they're from Uline beautiful finish I have so many candles testing right now so 
I have this one, you could see. And with coconut wax, you don't need to achieve like a full melt pool. It does not have a memory, just like soy. So I could burn this and it could definitely have a full melt pool. Um, if I let it sit out for a few hours, just I was checking the wick and the hot throw. So I did not warm up the jars. This is why you're seeing this. So what I did, I warm up my jars again and then you could see the beautiful finish. So if you're doing using coconut apricot wax and you want to see like my full journey on testing this, uh, definitely follow, subscribe and you'll, def you'll get a chance to um, get reviews based on the different weeks that I am using. I have a CD6 here. I have like the booster wick. I've also tried the medium. I'm using the small booster wicks, crackling booster wicks right now. So yeah. So this was just a short video showing you guys how I um, prep my, like my wax, <laughs> my vessels when I'm doing the candle testing. So hopefully you guys stick around and get the review. Now I have so much more to share with you. Our next video, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I am in the process of making a, like a base, like a whip soap base for my sugar scrubs. For my sugar scrubs, I want to create this tutorial so you guys could um, see how I actually make it from scratch. Hopefully you guys will stick around for that tutorial. So it's just today's what? Today's Thursday. I just wanted to pop by and say hi. I've been posting some <laughs> AMSR videos. I'm going to try to make myself as much, uh, you know, much more available on this platform speaking to you. But again, you know, I'm doing a lot of work in the background. Not forgetting, I did launch an Etsy, um, is it a website or Etsy store? I did launch that. I'm actually working on it and put in a lot of products, but I'm still navigating Etsy. Plus, I do have my website that I recently launched. It's going well. I want to thank all those of you who have supported me. Those of you who are creating live and sharing um, a lot of feedback based on my products. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yes, as you can see, I have been playing with my setup, my microphone, everything to ensure that you guys receive really good qualities moving forward. It's just that I'm trying to arrange everything here. So you can see my setup is a very different. I added this shelf and this is right now my candle station. I will show you guys how I actually did that in another video. I kind of changed it up because I wanted it to be a bit more spacious and again I want this sophisticated look to my brand and I'm loving it. You get to see my vessel so stick around for that video where I show you how I kind of changed up the studio to what you saw prior and included a candle making station with some um, organizer. I, organizers I got from Ikea. All right. So again, if you want to see how I actually set up this, how I assembly everything, I'll put a link below to my home decor channel. This is basically where I do all the finishing, the detailed tutorials on how I set this up. Not forgetting, I do have a cooking channel where we're trying to put so much more healthy like it's more of a healthy lifestyle where we chit chat about hair care skin care um you know just me cooking because i love cooking i hope you guys could go over there subscribe to that channel and my son do have a youtube channel guys i know you're like saying girl you got so many youtube channels out there i need to you have to actually follow my vlog channel to understand the kind of person i am i know i'm doing a lot but we're getting organized. We moved to a new city and you know, I'm trying to establish a brand and trying to push it as much as I can. And the only way I could do that is by using different platforms to really promote it and share what I love doing with you. I hope you guys stick around for this full video and subscribe to my other platforms. Um, yeah, see you guys in another video. And this is actually my son. He's doing like an Easter vlog sort of video. Visit his YouTube channel. I hope you guys follow him and subscribe to him. If you have a little ones, um, join him there. We're going to include more learning videos, um, some French videos and stuff like that. So 
guys thank you again for subscribing hope you enjoy this platform bye